Hey guys and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 on Dusty Cove. Well I guess all good things need to come to an end. And so my camping trip has come to an end. Hence the beach. Thought it was a good spot to carry on the let's plays from. Now I know there was definitely some issues with the amount of videos or the, how some of them were released last two weeks. Uh, apologize for that in yesterday's video if you didn't catch that go check that out it's kind of just a little update on what's going on with a bit of gameplay going in the background i wouldn't even call it a let's play per se i don't think i did i think i just called it farming simulator uh, 2017 uh, 17 geez uh, dusty cove i'm back from camping because it's uh, more of an update so we started off at the beach nice little trip down to the beach actually here Pretty, pretty days. Way. Uh, so I've been perusing the mod websites and I have found some definite stuff I'm very interested in using. One of which is, I think it's the Wiseman or Wildman or however you pronounce it. It's the old, fairly industrial looking. Jeez, these curbs. Uh, the industrial looking. Forklift front loader thing. I was in the mod competition. I think most people know it was severely broken in the mod competition. It was spewing all sorts of errors. And it's something that I was really hoping to use, but unfortunately couldn't due to that. It was lure errors galore. So I'm guessing the creator of it has updated it. It's not been allowed on the mod hub by the looks of it because it's on mod hoster. So I've downloaded that, I've got that in the game save, and we're going to get it. There's also the Crawler Fiat tractor, which I will be getting 100%. Uh, probably going to save up for that one though, I'm not going to buy it right away. going to work towards that one, I was going to buy it right away. But then I thought, eh, what's the point, let's just work towards that one. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to work our way up to it. Now, uh, as far as what else is going on on the farm, uh, we've got the Fent plowing, uh, plowing juice, seeding, uh, as we started to in yesterday's video. And we're going to go pick up that loader now. And apparently, I need to move that back over. This thing drifts, kind of moves forward over time. Just checking out what we've got. We've got the spray there. We've got the, what is it, the 7810 there. And the class. I have seen a John Deere Combine come out on Mod Hoster 2, which I'm going to check out. I'm gonna, like I said in yesterday's video, I'm going to try and get back into some mod reviews again. So, expect that. And of course, the T Dub, which is really the only tractor we've got here right now, which would have enough. Well, the John Deere would have enough guts, but. Well, I miss my T Dub. <laughs> I've had two weeks of not driving the sucker. So, we will. Take this to the store. I'm kind of curious, what new maps are out there? Is there any maps in particular you guys want to be seeing on the channel? Uh, we've got Green River that we've been doing videos on. Uh, that's probably going to come to a close. Of course, we've been doing the American map, which just seems a non-stop harvest because it takes so darn long to harvest on that map. Short of having a load of combines going. I really enjoy doing the American maps. I think a bit off too too much on that map, and it's just too big for me. It's uh, yeah, kind of a bit on the extreme side. It would make an amazing multiplayer map, but yeah, I don't think it's for the channel, to be quite honest. So I don't know if I'll continue doing that. If, if the people want to see it, I'll probably carry on, but. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck in the middle, and that bang, I know that no, no, you heard it, it was me put my coffee down. Because it's, uh, I got up early to sort out the video for yesterday. And now I'm kind of waking up, I'm recording this video, trying to get a bit ahead. And get stuff sorted, I need to stay ahead for, of course, live streams. The main reason. So that needs to get refilled. So what we will probably do is buy a couple of pallets of seed and use the 
our new little yard machine. Because that's what it's going to be used for, honestly. It's just going to be taken to the field when needs be and used for the animals and all that good stuff. I'm not going to use it as a front loader or anything like that. It's literally a forklift, basically. It's a nice looking machine. I'm surprised that it didn't get put back on the mod hub. Maybe because of all the issues we're in it to begin with. I don't know. Really out of touch, of course. Uh, I've just been catching up with a few people. Auction David was one of them, talking to him on Facebook. And my goodness, his new map that he's working on, it is still a long way out. He reckons at least three to four months at the time of me making this video. But my goodness. God, it looks amazing. I think it's going to be as special as Cobra. I will go out and say it. Cobra, back when it was initially launched in FS15, re-relaunched, because I think it was out previously. Don't quote me on that. It was amazing. A lot of people love that map because it was so accurate to the real life. And that's what Auction David seems to be doing now with this one. It's making it as true to life as possible. And I've got no doubt in my mind looking at those pictures, he's going to pull it off. So really, really look forward to having a look-see at that one. He's, from what he's saying, he's been doing a lot of... Redoing a lot of the models and all that good stuff. So it should all be brand new models, and if there's a building in the real life, there's going to be a building in there. Which is pretty darn awesome. So park this here, drop that, pull up the shop menu. So this is so cheap, I'm just gonna <laughs> I can buy it quite happily. Uh, it's under wheel loaders. Go past all of this stuff, and here it is. Oh it is the wieldman. Or wildman. And this thing's pretty down accurate to what it is in real life. So I'm gonna go with the all terrain tires, kinda like the look of them better. And we're gonna go with two attachments. Uh, that is the pallet forks and the uh, feed pusher. I'm guessing it acts like the other one does for the three point hitch. These, to be quite honest, 700 liters, 750. I may get this if I get some old school machines on this map to do uh, the, well, the John Deere Muck Spreader. I think we need to do it on some of the real, really small fields, say like 11, it feels like that. But this is it. I did the mod review on it. And it, like I say, it just wasn't up for snuff, unfortunately. But it's fantastic. I just love how industrial it looks. And honestly, you'd probably see something like this on a farm kicking around, maybe. Oh, I didn't know I had this. Neat. And, of course, smoke. I would love to learn, and sort of when you accelerate. I want to learn how to put that on tractors. So if there is anyone out there that does know. Uh, if you want to spend the time teaching me how to do that, I would really appreciate it, because there's quite a few tractors that like teed up and tried to add it on there by kind of getting into the scripts of the other stuff, and mm, didn't go too well, let me tell you. Didn't go too well. I think I touched all that in the video that went live when I was camping. So what we're doing now, I'm going to go down to sewing machines, check out the spec of the Rapid. 3,100, so... We know it's not going to be completely empty, but pretty darn close. So, seed one and two. I'm not going to buy three. Actually, no, we could buy three. It would just be shorted one. It's all good. I'm glad to see this thing comes now with forks as well. It's one thing in the video that I made on the mod review that I did criticize about it. I think I did a mod review on this one. I can't remember if I did actually. I'm gonna have to look because if I didn't, I will read. No, I will do it because it's a uh, it's a good machine. It just sucks that it had its issues. But this is what I wanted for right here. Now, yes, I've got the forklift enabled, but I've got the forklift on most maps, so why not do something different? 
Now the downside to this is I have tested it. The liquid f uh, fertilizer pallets it can handle, but not the best. It's a little tippy. Where the forklift, of course, it's got the mass behind it where it can cope with that all day long and not even sort of worry about it. Why are we spinning? Way. I wonder if there's a trap because the tractor's on it had a kind of lock and scrub effect. Let's shut the teed up down and see. This machine is pretty darn quiet as well. There we go, that's better. Is it? Maybe not so much. There we go. Maybe the pallet folks have some sort of weird scripting going on there. No idea. It may have been easier just to drive the thing on there. Is that I do not know. Now the pallet folks do seem a little... Uh, Oversized for this thing, they're just the standard ones, I think. Retextured to fit in with this machine. So yeah, that's probably why the forks are acting a little funky, because they are exactly the same as the stock ones. One thing I have noticed is the collisions on them can be a little weird. There you go. Not the best stacking job, it never is, but it will do. And of course it being articulated is a bit of a pain as well. Easy. There we go. One thing I have noticed, I don't see a PTO drive in there. In the center. Kind of interesting. Now what the Civic Access does remind me of is the tiny, tiny forklifts or skid steers you see around. The ones that are meant for tiny warehouses and stuff like that. Which, to be honest, is probably what this is meant for, or kicking around on building sites, stuff like that. Actually, what I may do with this one is just drive it on. So, it's one thing I do want to know is let let me know in the comment section. I kind of touched on this earlier. Is let me know what you guys want to see. I want to make sure the content. Hey isn't boring and stuff like that. As I touched on yesterday, I've got a new game coming to the table which is definitely something way different to whatever I've done before on the channel so it's going to be interesting to see how that does. Honestly, I know when I do new games it doesn't go down well at all. So it'll be interesting to see what the oh, view is on that game I guess from you guys. want to continue with ETS and ATS as well. Haven't done any. Uh, hang on. Haven't done much of that recently. Feels like it's been quite a time since I've played it. I was kind of hoping to see the new, as far as ATS goes, New Mexico DLC out, but it doesn't seem to be out yet, which kind of surprising. I think as well, there's a new car mechanic coming out. Well, hang about that turn. Oh, that's cool. Just like the real ones do. So yeah, the new car mechanic, I believe, is coming out very soon as well. Which, hyped about that. It's a game that I've always loved. Jeez, with them on the, there, we're pretty much full. So this is going to be kind of a slow trip over to Field 16, although, because of where we are, we're not too, too far away. This does have a towage on the back too, so I'm guessing it works. 
Not sure what you would use it for unless it has its own trailer. I don't think it does, though. I believe one of the older versions of this type of machine did. That was out for the game. There you go, shut it down. Jump into this, start this up, fold that up. Take a drink of coffee. Oh, we need to strap. I almost forgot. Jeez, that could have been bad. And set myself up for getting out the yard is always worthwhile as well. Ready, away we go. So, we are heading straight across to field 16. Honestly, it won't take us too long, but to save you guys at the boredom, I will pause here as we travel over to field 16. Alrighty. Heading to where it does get interesting. So I thought I'd uh, blip this back on. Because there may be... Oh, I... Mm. Come on, power up. Uh, that that turn is almost impossible with a trailer of this length. It's going to be fun getting an out of there. And this is literally the only way into this field, I think, too. Took me a little while to figure out how to get into the field. And of course, I believe these hedges have collisions, too, so... Do they? I forget. It's been a while. Yes, they do. So I did see the outsides purely from the factor of I started to yesterday, so I continued that. Well, what we'll probably end up doing is stopping it on the field so I can get a screenshot of doing this, because I think this is kind of neat. Now, if there's another way out of this field, or to this field, I'd love to know, because I think it's going to be a bit of a pain getting out of there. And we're on the f grass. All right, we'll leave it on. As it obviously wasn't issued. Drop that. Drop that. Put that like that. So if we kind of get down a little too fast. There we go, it can guide us. Now, of course, this would probably tear up the ground, and this thing... Yeah, you wouldn't get it running on this type of ground. Not that much, I don't think. Easy, come on now. There we go. I will do is run around on the grass, probably jump into the fence and actually get it off the course so it's closer to the grass. Because as I said, there is no way you'd get this going through the mud. And all the mud, uh, the ploughed furrows. It does come with lights too. No indicators. I don't know why I check that on tractors like this. They don't exist. Or machines like this. Actually, no, we can just drive across. We'll just do that. Now normally the ground will be cultivated. This is a no-till cedar, so we can get away with that. Now we'll probably actually start right away, so we will get course play off. And part of me doing this was to make sure to kind of test course play as I've updated it. 
It has been a while. I don't think this will get high enough. Nope. Me from Zoria though. That's the big downside with something like this, is uh, can you feasibly use it for a lot? Probably not. I lower the wings down there. <laughs> Does that count? Whoa, I just took it all. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Okay then. We'll grab another and get our photo opportunity. Way. Jeez. I like the look of these all-terrain tires. The other ones, I would say probably more likely all-terrain tires, but just don't look as good. And for what this is, it moves along too. It's got a good rate of speed, 14 miles an hour. I wouldn't complain of that. So that Fiat Crawler Tractor, what's my plans with that? Well, we've got the dozer. The dozer's undergoing restoration, as you guys know. I, I, I say restoration very loosely. It's just a little side project I've been working on just to make it look like a World War II bulldozer. It's part of... Or Vietnam era, or I don't know. It's an American bulldozer, basically, is what I'm turning it into. Something that still shocks me to this day, people haven't put out there are sort of a lot of ex-military machinery for a farm. Now, you don't see it all the time, but farmers do and are renowned for picking up ex-military machines. For doing all sorts of tasks. And it's stuff that I kind of like. So the helicopter that I use is, yeah, that's a little far-fetched. Of course, that's not going to happen. But vehicles, trucks, pickups, forklifts. Like the Clark forklift, for example. That is used by the U.S. military. Uh, I'm not just picking on the U.S. Uh, there's a channel I watch that is typically U.S. stuff. Well, it's only U.S. stuff. I forget the name of it. But they had a Clark forklift load an ammunition from an ammunition dump. So it's kind of cool to see that. And I'm guessing that's kind of where that thing snowballed from, hence the colour of it being military green. So it just fits into the storyline that I always do in my videos. It's, I like old machinery. I like old military machinery. Me, personally, I love old military stuff. So kind of a knock-on effect there. Whether it's British, American, whatever nationality. If it's military and it's old, it's a winner in my eyes. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll pause here and get set up for the thumbnail. And I will catch you guys in a minute. And just like that, thumbnail taken. So I think what we can actually do is just do this. You know what, let's go around the back. And try the... There we go. Next. So that should be bah, just under half. Maybe actually yeah, around 40% full. At this point we'll load another one in. So this is something I don't really do anymore on farm sim is manual loading like this at a field. So it's kind of neat to do it. Pro cruise control because I'm being lazy. So I've seen a few people asking questions in the video that went live today. A lot of people are happy I'm back, and I'm happy to be back and get to regular schedule stuff. I get so antsy and worried when I do and go away for stuff like this, especially getting videos up. So I've always said it would be ten times easier if this wasn't my only job. I wouldn't need to worry about it so much. 
But because it is, it's uh, just like any job at times, I guess. It's stressful. And I don't handle that stuff well. Uh, okay. It's not actually on the forks, but we'll take it. That would have hurt. This thing, I think, is four-wheel drive all the time, too. I can't change it out of it. I would love to be able to do that, but can't. Actually, I wouldn't like to be able to. I'd like to be able to make it so it's diff locks, because I've noticed that. I don't think it is. There we go, power. And away we go. I'll put the cruise control on. I love the puff of smoke there. That's why I want to order on tractors, because face it, even modern tractors, of course you don't see them puff constant smoke by any shape or form, and I don't want that, I don't like it. But when you engage something or set off, you get a little bit of smoke. A lot less than you used to because of the death fluid, the ad blue, whatever you want to call it, all of that crap the governments and people want to add into the tractors. I still find it crazy that they're worried about stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's a big deal, global warming. It's a huge deal deal, but for agricultural and stuff like that, which it's probably such a small sector in the pollution, in the great scheme of things, when you've got trains, cars, boats, or big container ships, should I say, and trucks. They're, they do that to the agricultural construction stuff where they need power. I don't know. It's, it's a funny beast, all of that. It's just another expense, I think, honestly. And yeah, the Ablu systems do work. But face it, if you know what you're doing with a tractor, of course most people won't do it because of how much the damn things cost and warranties. Rip the crap off. Does it really throttle that much power with modern engines? I don't know. Uh, the, the wizardries and whatnot at companies that make those type of machines or engines. The amount of power they can get out of engines nowadays, whether it's a petrol, gasoline engine or a diesel engine. It's absolutely phenomenal if you actually sort of look and see how it's all advanced. It's craziness. Absolute craziness. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can shove the tire a bit more forward. Perfect. Yeah, not that much. Unfortunately, I can't pick that up. So what I'll do is I guess I'll just shove it forward a bit. This trade is borderline, not even the right width on the ramps for this thing, but it works. So what's left to do on the farm, really? Uh, moving across the animals that we have. I'm going to wait until... I can't remember what I said, what animals I'm going to move across first. I'm thinking probably sheep are going to be the easiest ones to do. Uh, as much as I love Thornton, I think Thornton is coming to a close. I'm definitely still passionate about it and will want to revisit it at some point. But I think the time for that map is coming to a close, or come to a close more than likely. So this Dusty Cove is definitely going to take its place. I, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. I don't know if it, I think there's an update coming to Dusty Cove. I'm not sure. I was talking to Rainbow Dave yesterday when I got back, and I can't remember what he was saying. I was kind of tired and out of it, and yeah. I was paying attention, but not quite 100%, and I can't remember what was said, really, about new updates coming out and stuff. I was trying to get the scoop on what's new uh, amongst sort of farm sim, what's new with everyone, personally, because, well, we're all friends. We're all close friends at this point, I'd say, so we all know what's going on with each other. The good, the bad, and the ugly at times. So finding out all that stuff. So there's a lot to take in and ingest. So it'll take me probably a couple of days to get settled in and sorted. Alright, what we'll do now is see what needs to be done. Hopefully 
I can do some stuff around here with a machine or bring a machine down. I don't think I need to do anything else really though. Um, these need cultivating, but you don't have to cultivate with this. Everything else is just growing. Uh, 11, 7, uh, the fertilizer, the first stage of fertilization. Probably wait a couple of days before we bump into uh, spraying. For 20s grass. But of course, we've got no grass yet. Yeah, that's about it, actually. Wow. So, yeah, I guess uh, we'll just drive back and seed. So, today's live stream, more than likely, is going to be me seeding the rest of the fields. So I can advance. It feels like I've been doing this on this map for a long time now, but in reality, I haven't. I'm not too far into this map. It just feels like it. Hmm, I wonder if this is a better way out. Oh, I left the light on that. Yeah, it should be okay. We'll have Luke. As I said, I'm still learning this map. wonder if Matt's coming out with an update for the T-dubs anytime soon. I'll have to message him and ask. It was nice to see Matt in a few of the streams before. When camping. Hopefully that will continue. It's nice seeing mod creators and of all sorts coming in, whether it's map creators, actual mod creators like vehicles, implements come in, because I can turn around and go, hey, uh, this error, or are you guys going to do this? Or kind of say, hey, I think this would be better, and they can go, yeah, no, or yes, or whatever. I love that. absolutely love it. The interaction on our live streams across the whole, all of us, you know, when you, I say all of us, I mean the group of us. I, it's uh, yeah, pretty special. Pretty darn special. It's like our own community, which is within other communities, I guess. Should probably come up with a name for the community, but... Uh, we haven't. And yeah, this is much friendlier turn. I have to remember that. Especially getting the combine down in those fields. It would be a bit of a pain. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. Oh, I've got the fast track there. Sweet. Actually, I'll probably put that on follow me. Uh, nah, I won't. I'm probably going to wrap the video up here. Uh, we're just going to bring this back to the yard. Oh, yard. Jeez. Yard and park it. And go on to Green River. Probably have a bite to eat because I'm getting a little bit hungry. See what's going on, see if they need me. Uh, of course, we got back yesterday and the trailer still needs to be unloaded to see if people are actually ready and up and moving per se. I'm going to take it from there, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be live streaming at 7pm tonight as per usual. Maybe earlier. I've got word that Rainbow Dave is not live streaming this week, so I may start earlier. I don't know. I'm live when I'm live, guys. I'll uh, let you know that. I'll get stuff all set up, OBS and all that good stuff. Webcam. Yada, yada, yada. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the flip side later.